We can finally start the game. Bournemouth versus Southampton, the South Coast derby. The winner of this will go on to play Neil Mopai. Uh, it's Philip Billing versus Angus Gunn. Obviously, both teams are rated 85 overall. We are playing on 85 mode, meaning that everybody starts off with a flat playing field with a maximum of three star skills. So there's no unfair advantage. I'm really excited for this one, Harry. So excited. Um... Billing started off with a lot of the possession right now. You can tell that he's very, very smooth on the, on the pad. But, um, you know, it's going to be a tough... Ooh, it's going to be first shot of the game. Uh, it's going to be a tough one. Um, I've got a question for you, Billing. Um, who is your go-to player for Ultimate Team? Ultimate player. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Good answer. Okay, now we've seen a few good performances so far today. Mope and Dwight McNeil both putting together a very similar style of play, intricate build-up play. And we can see Philip Billing sort of trying to do the same thing, that slow build-up play, looking to pick Angus Gunn apart around the edge of the box with that killer through ball. It's something we saw Dwight McNeil do very effectively and Neil Mope who used Glenn Murray brilliantly, and he's in for the oh. Philly, and it's 1-0 to the day. He puts Bournemouth 1-0 up against Southampton, Smithy. Yeah, big, big first goal of the game. <laughs> Ten minutes on the clock. <laughs> Philip, talk us through that goal. So there we go, first goal of the game. Ten minutes gone, here's Bournemouth 1, Southampton nil. And of course, these two have met already uh, in the Premier League. One game, uh, Southampton and Bournemouth have played each other. Southampton 1, Bournemouth 3 that day in the Premier League. And it was the only time they faced each other. Both played 90 minutes in the game and it was a famous win. Bournemouth's first ever win at Southampton. It did send Bournemouth third in the table at the time. Uh, Friday night game, you remember it as well. Um, and Billing got the assist for the second goal. So they've met before. Um, Philip Billing coming out on top that day. Will he come out on top this day, Joe? Well, he's playing some fantastic football in and around the edge of the box, isn't he? Those turns. Angus is really struggling to keep hold of those turns. But there's still plenty of time left in this game. You know, we're only 15 minutes in. And Bournemouth at the moment are on top. But plenty of time left for this to be turned around. And the winner of this game will go on to face Neil Mopé, who of course won 6-1 in the day's opening kickoff against John McGinn. They're on a difficult side of the draw as well because the eventual area they could be facing is Todd Cantwell, who's favourite, but Billing's in again, and it's another oh. tap-in. Beautiful backheel play. Philip Billing is running away with this. Big celebs, Harry. Oh, and he scored with himself. This is the second player to do this. I mean, listen, this is an absolutely controlling game. He's actually controlled from the start to, the, to, to where we are right now. Absolutely amazing play, Joe. Yeah, I mean, there's some real <laughs> expert football on show here, isn't there? He's in again. It's Philip Billing. Oh, oh big on. chance with his own oh. character there. I mean, Bournemouth looking sensational right now. And you can see why Philip Billing was tipped by so many, really, going into this tournament as a potential favourite alongside the likes of Todd Cantwell, Smithy. I can't see the screen. Yeah, it's great. We've just seen Philip Billing score with Philip Billing. We saw that from Dwight McNeil for Burnley. It's not the only time that Philip Billing has scored against Southampton. Uh, he did so against Southampton for Huddersfield last season, you remember. Angus Gunn was on the bench, incidentally, that day. So he scored against them um, in football, for, in the Premier League, of course. And now he's done it on FIFA as well, scoring with oh, himself. Man. So big, big moment. And it's been all Philip Billing, all Bournemouth. Bournemouth fans will be delighted watching this so far. Angus Gunn needs to get a grip into this game, or it could be a repeat of what we saw in our first game, Joe. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's quite as bad as the first game. Neil Mopé was nearly 4-0 up at this stage, wasn't he? But it's very similar. It's very similar style of play to Dwight McNeil and Neil, and, uh, Neil Mopé, that slow build-up. And Billing has been tipped. We've already spoken about it as an expert player, and it's coming to fruition. He's obviously played in tournaments in the past, hasn't he? He's played in the state, into Toto Cup, of course. And now he's playing in the EPL Invitational, representing Bournemouth. 
Angus is just struggling a little bit to get a foothold in this game, Harry. Yeah, it's very difficult for him to start any sort of rhythm of play. Billings set up for him to just attack, really, and he's doing really well. A lot of passes are actually reaching their players, so it is difficult. It's one of those games where you've got to get one chance and one goal to actually change the way the game is, but that's going to be pretty hard to do. But yeah, Joe, it's pretty hard for him, man. Yeah, we've already spoken to Philip pre-game and we talked about how confident he is. He was saying that he's one of the better players in the Bournemouth squad at FIFA, whereas Angus, not overly confident. So maybe it's just a lack of confidence at the moment for Angus, but Philip is playing some fantastic football in the midfield, really keeping hold of the ball. And that slow intricate build-up style that we've seen employed by Neil Mopay and we saw employed by Dwight McNeil really paying fruit in FIFA 20 at the moment. They probably play a lot of FIFA, a lot of foot uh, champs at the moment. So they'll be doing well. And Philip Billing is looking like a serious contender for the overall prize, Smithy. Yeah, he is. He's one that we spoke about. We said in the FIFA community, a lot of people were talking up Philip Billing, uh, saying he is uh, one of the favourites in the tournament. The likes of Todd Cantwell was mentioned as well. Neil Mopai, of course, we saw earlier beating Aston Villa, John McGinn 6-1. Uh, Diogo Jota as well, I feel that um, hasn't been given enough credit in in terms of where he's at. A lot of people saying that he could be one um, of the players to look out for. So a lot of top players competing in this tournament uh, as Philip Billing has another chance, Joe. Oh, Junior Stanislas there just stinging the goalkeeper's fingers. And it has all been Billing, really, pushing forward, passing, passing it nicely around the edge of the box, taking his time, looking to pick those openings. And there's another one here. It's Billing again. He's missed some really good opportunities. A few one-on-ones, Harry. Yeah, a few one-on-ones. It's one of those games where opportunities are just coming so fast that I'm sure he's going to score another one. Now, look... this week and stats absolutely make that together um he might try and get another one before the half done but it's, yeah, it's been a very very good start from Joe. yeah we are approaching the half time whistle now angus gun looks like he's going to have the last attack of the half he's managed to get to the byline is he going to put the ball in the box he's not it's intricate football around the edge and a goal here could really change the game but it doesn't look like it's going to happen and that will surely be half time and it is half time Bournemouth 2-0 up in the South Coast derby against Southampton, Smithy. Yeah, all Bournemouth. I think that is uh, fair to say that Philip Billing did dominate that game against Angus Gunn. 2-0 uh, at the halfway stage, but only two goals in it. We've seen a lot of goals in this tournament. So early goal for Angus Gunn in the second half will put him right back in this game. Uh, Philip Billing, interesting, he does become the second player to score with himself after Dwight McNeil did it early on today. Uh, Harry, thoughts on that first half? Quite one-sided, wasn't it? Yeah, very one-sided. Uh, Philip Billing showing how great he really is. And uh, the talk about him before wasn't just talk, it actually is facts. And we're seeing that now. It's pretty hard for um, for Andre Gunn to get into the game, but it's a second half. So we we, we never know how that's going to end. But uh, Smithy is very, very, very difficult for him right now. Joe, substitutions, we've seen quite a few. We've seen a lot of tactical, tactical uh, changes. Do we, uh, well, we, we, can, we, can, we can speak to them now. Uh, Philip, any tactical changes? Yeah. Going into the second half, are you happy with the way things are going? No, I'm just going to keep the same, to be honest. I think pretty good first half, so, you know, don't think so. Angus, not the best first half for you. 2 nil down, but only two goals in it. Are you going to look to change anything going into the second half? What's that for? What's that for me? No, that's for Angus. I think, I think we've got technical difficulties with Angus. Either that or he's so focused about the second half that he's just blocking, blocking it out. So uh, we can go back to the game. The second half is underway. I just want to get the game underway. This is what we want to bring you as well, of course, the match action. The uh, second half is underway. It's Bournemouth to Southampton nil in the South Coast derby. Philip Billing scoring with himself uh, for the second goal. Joe, big first five needed for Angus Gunn if he's going to have any chance at all to get back into this game. Yeah, big, big second half needed here. At the moment, Philip Billing is sailing through to face the pie. But this side of the draw does feature Todd Cantwell, doesn't it? He'll face off tomorrow, uh, I think, against Lise Mousset of Sheffield United. So that game is going to be a big one to look forward to. And Angus Gunn's hit the bar. It's a great chance. 
but it's pushed out. Oh, it's a massive, massive chance for Southampton, Harry. Massive chance. And I always, always say that underdogs should never be counted out. And he started off the second half how he wanted him to start off the first. So we're looking forward to how he's going to uh, continue this game, Joe. Yeah, maybe we've written Angus Gunn off a little bit too early here because Philip Billing was under pressure there. But as I was saying, this side of the draw is a difficult one. Todd Cantwell's in it and he is the tournament favourite going into it really against Lise Mousset, although it also features Diogo Jota. Billing's in again, chance. Good save with his own hands here from Angus Gunn. <laughs> Isn't that great to see, Joe? We've seen Angus Gunn make a great save at one end. We've seen Philip Billing score a great goal at the other end. We've seen Premier League players being as competitive as ever uh, playing the game. He's in. The Angus the Gunn is in. Angus. Chance. Missed oh. it. He absolutely had to score that chance there, Angus Gunn. Joe, I'm just Surely, thinking that it's, Harry. It's great for Angus Gunn, Joe. To Surely be he should have scored. Like He's got to take his chances. Where you've got to take your chances. You've got to, you can't miss those, especially against a player like Billing. And here we have it again. Here's another chance. It's a tough one. He should have taken that chance. It's a tough game, but chances are few and far between for him. Yeah, it is a really, really tight game here down on the south coast. Much more tight than we were expecting, potentially. Angus Gunn's come back into it a little bit in this second half. Struggled to speak to him a little bit because of the internet connection and the technical difficulties. But nevertheless, everybody's doing this from their home, so I'm sure everybody's understanding. And Philip Billing, at the moment, is going through two-face Neil Mopai. In, a, in what is going to be an absolutely epic game, Smithy. Oh, yeah, I mean, epic is the right word to use, Joe, because I, I will not be able to separate those two. Uh, and another chance, and it's oh. another goal to Philip Billing. What a strike that is. It is Bournemouth 3, Southampton nil. 65 minutes on the clock. Angus Gunn there calling for offside, but it wasn't to be. <laughs> it wasn't to be the offside. He doesn't look happy. Philip Billing smiling away there in Bournemouth as they go 3-0 up. Now it's going to be interesting to see. Does he go all out, Angus Gunn, and put it on to ultra attacking, look to push players forward? Or does he just stay as it is 3-0 and hope it doesn't get any worse, Harry? I mean, it's the only thing you can do at this position um, because this the formation he was using right now has been breached three times by by uh, Philip Billing. So I think he has to go ultra attacking. Hope for the best. There's still time. I mean, if he scores a goal every seven minutes, then there's, there's a chance. But um, it looks a bit bleak at the moment for him. Yeah, I mean, we have seen tactics play a big role, though. We saw, um, we saw uh, Ryan Fredericks nearly come back and complete that comeback against like McNeil, didn't we? We also nearly saw Nathaniel Chalaber come back and overturn Josh Franceschi's uh, advantage. So it should come down to substitutions and the way they play. But Angus Gunn here racing forward. Big chance again for Angus oh. Gunn. And a fantastic save by Ramsdale in the form of Netsmithy. Yeah, I was going to say, Angus Gunn himself would have been uh, pleased with that save, I think, Joe. It's been good... good um, Goalkeeping attributes both ends uh, from Bournemouth and Southampton, but Angus Gunn badly needs a goal in this game. I, I think he's played all right this second half, Joe. He's had some chances, but two big chances missed. He simply has to take these. There's only 15 minutes left on the clock, and surely Philip Billing will look to wind this down. He needs a goal very soon, or we would expect Philip Billing to advance into the next round. And don't forget, this is our final match from round one, from day one, but loads more matches to bring you. Uh, over the next five days until Saturday, Joe, where we will have the semi-finals and the grand final. Yeah, exactly. Tomorrow, if you tune in, here's a chance, by the way, for Philip Billing. If he doesn't take it, if you tune in tomorrow, you're going to see Raheem Sterling versus Wilfred Zaha, a clash that has been much talked about online. Philip Billing's in again, though. We'll also see Manchester United versus Liverpool, Chelsea versus Everton and Tottenham against Newcastle that will see Moussa Sissoko return to face his old side, a, a contest mm. that I'm really looking forward to, actually. So tomorrow has some incredible fixtures penned in, so make sure you tune in for those games too. But right here, right now, it looks like Philip Billing is going to go on to face Neil Mope, Harry. Yeah, it does look so. Um, it's been a, a thoroughly entertaining game here today. I think he's been in control of the game so far um, from start to finish, really, at, at, at this point. But, um, you know, Angus Gunn did show some, some a good start to the second half with that amazing opportunity. But it's been one of those ones where you have to take your chances 
and that hasn't been the case today. But he's got a chance here. Oh, but yeah, Joe, it's been a good one. Yeah, I just wonder whether Neil Mopé, who said that he was going to be watching this game, has managed to pick anything up from this Philip Billing performance, whether or not he's seen any chinks in the armour, Smithy. Yeah, it's great to see, isn't it? Well, this is why it's such a fantastic event. Um, every single Premier League team is involved. Uh, some of the biggest names in the Premier League and also the Premier League players that aren't involved are watching to look at the, the, the opposition. So it's just it's just had absolutely everything this game. It's straight knockout, which is it meant for exciting end-to-end -end action. Goals galore. And the fact that, as you said, we've got some of the biggest names in the Premier League, plus some celebrity fans playing against each other, but also watching and observing. Um, it's, it's just set to be a great day. And you, you, you mentioned the fixtures that we're looking forward to tomorrow. Man City versus Palace, Man United v Liverpool, Chelsea v Everton and Spurs versus Newcastle. I mean, what a day in store we've got tomorrow as we approach the final stages of this game. And it's another goal. Joe, Philip Billing is running riot 4-0 in the South Coast derby. Yeah, fantastic and play by Philip Billing. And he scored with himself yet again, hasn't he? That front post finish that is so synonymous with FIFA 20 coming forward there. Brilliant goal, 4-0, game over. And Philip Billing is dancing, Harry.